hello welcome to my channel my name is magdala i am relatively new to cybersecurity and it in general i've been working in healthcare i'm currently in healthcare now um, i'm in school for cybersecurity i go to wgu and in 2022 i was like okay i don't want to do respiratory for the rest of my life and so what what other industry can i go into like what's gonna get me to a life that i want and i desire um because you know like with healthcare, you're working night shift it's tough and so i decided to do cybersecurity. i then enrolled into wgu and oh my goodness like i thought this was gonna be a breeze it it's not a breeze <laughs> um you very much have to put in the work if you don't you will fail um by the grace of god i have not failed an exam yet but it's also because i do put in the work and i study because you need to study for it um with that being said one of the courses at wgu is comptia 1102 and the 1101 exam right now i'm gonna tell you guys how to pass the 1102 exam so i took the 1102 exam it was my first ever it certification and oh my goodness <laughs> When I was studying for this exam, I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, what is this? Like, it was so much information with such little time and I was overwhelmed. There are so many resources out there. I didn't know which one to choose from. And I essentially just sat on the course for, I think like two months because I just didn't know like what I was, what, what to do and like how to study for it and different things like that. And so I'm gonna give you some advice on what I did and had I done all these sooner I probably wouldn't have taken as long on the on the class um, there are two exams you have to pass in order to get your certification there's no order me being enrolled in WGU my program mentor at the time was like you should do the 1102 first and then the 1101 and so I was like okay so I took the 1102 first and I feel that it probably helped me a lot more knowing that I passed the 1102 exam. I think that really helped me to pass the 1101 exam. I thought the 1101 exam was harder than the 1102 exam. I suggest taking the 1102 first, then the 1101. This video is going to tell you how to pass 1102. First, what you're going to do, if you're enrolled in WGU, you have access, free access to Udemy. If you're not, go on Udemy. Um, usually Udemy does have like days where they have sales and their classes are not as high. I would buy the Andy Ramdalia, I don't know how to say his name, but buy his 1102 course and literally just like take your time, go through all of it. Make sure that you take notes while you're watching his videos. He does an amazing job at just breaking it down in to the point where you understand and I feel like for me when I first was starting I didn't understand the IT lingo and he just does such an amazing job at like realizing that people who are taking this exam they don't know anything about IT and so he doesn't give you like a high level overview of the information like he breaks it down like dumb dummy level and he just does an amazing job with that so do that and then after you do that like if there's some information that you're still feeling like, okay, I need a little more information on that, then I would go to Professor Messer and like review like some of his videos. But for the most part, I would focus on Andrew, um, Andrew Ramdelia or Andy. I don't know his name. I will put it in the description down below. After that, I will link a Quizlet for you guys to go over. Um, I use Quizlet because Quizlet helps with space repetition. If you really want to learn something, space repetition is the best way to learn and Quizlet really helps with that. So that's what I did. I watch Andrew's videos and then I use the Quizlet. I'm going to link it in the description. I use that Quizlet and I just like went over it over and over and over until like I literally understood everything on there. And then for practice, I use the Jason Dion practice exams on Udemy as well. Those are the three things that I did to pass this exam. If you take time watching Andrew's videos, going over the quizlets, and then like taking practice exam, you'll be you'll be great. And I have like full confidence that you will pass the exam. And 
yeah that's all i have to say about passing this exam and honestly you just have to believe in yourself and believe that you're gonna pass because one thing like i was just so nervous because it was so new to me and i didn't know what i was doing like the i'm just like so new to the industry and it was almost like i was nervous because i was new if that makes any sense but really try to go past your fears and like get over i don't want to say get over that fear but really get over that fear so you can go in and take the exam and you'll realize like you know more than you actually think and yeah i hope you the best of luck i really hope that you end up taking the exam you take these advices and that you pass and yeah i'm gonna make in another video about the 1101 exam if you're interested in that i will also upload it around the same time that i upload this one and yeah good luck with your exam i hope you you do great Bye.